When it comes to aircraft manufacturing, the Airbus and Boeing duopoly usually dominates the headlines. However, outside this duopoly, there has been some more developments lately with the development of civil aviation aircraft in China and Russia. Among these projects is a joint Russian and Chinese venture of the CR-929, an entry for the long-haul wide-body aircraft market. While both Russia and China have launched this venture together, there appears to be some indications of tensions between both countries regarding the completion of the project. These reports of tensions related to the CR-929 between Russia and China stem from recent comments made by the Russian Deputy Prime Minister Yuri Boryshov during a recent event. According to a report from the Russian news agency TASS, the Russian Deputy Prime Minister indicated that Russia could decrease its participation or leave the project. In the report, originally written in Russian, he was quoted saying, quote, We have this project with China. It is not going the way we would like. As China becomes an industrial giant, it is less and less interested in our services. He further added, quote, The Chinese have more requirements than we do today. Our involvement in the CR929 project gets smaller and smaller. I do not want to prognose the future of this project. Are we going to withdraw from it or not? So far, it is going on. To recap, the CR929 is the joint Russian-Chinese venture of a wide-body aircraft development that has been in the works since the mid-2010s. Representing both countries is Russia's United Aircraft Corporation and China's COMAC. Many of you who are familiar with COMAC are familiar with some of their smaller aircraft, the C919 and the ARJ21, which have been built domestically in China and has begun to see service there. In contrast to C919 and the ARJ21, CRJ929 would have over 250 to 300 seats for long-haul operations with some comparing it to the Airbus A350 and Boeing 787 Dreamliners. As for the status of the project, the prototype is under construction for the project which has been delayed. Earlier plans for the first flight was put for 2021, though now the test flight phase would go into 2025 with the first delivery scheduled in 2028. Both countries when developing the CR929 has experienced some delays and some challenges have emerged including tensions between both countries related to the project. Among these conflicts has been the previous disagreement regarding the distribution of the aircraft in China. That alone has not been the only point of tension between both countries for the CR929 development. Other issues such as the investment division of labor and research and development has been key issues that have been discussed, though in May it has been reported that both countries reached an agreement on the key issues for this project. However, now adding to the issues of the delays and the development along with the tensions related to the project, the current geopolitical situation is adding more challenges to the CR929 program. Among this has been the recent sanctions imposed on Russia and its overseas interests due to its military action in Ukraine. Foreseeing the future, China also has its own concerns. So this has led to a review of the design of the project and now there are plans for the use of exclusively Chinese and Russian components to complete the aircraft. Going forward, this is the Russian and Chinese ambitious entry to the wide-body aircraft market, which for long has been dominated by the US and European duopoly of Airbus and Boeing. However, while it started with ambition and dreams, there has been some tensions between both countries related to the completion of the project. And the recent comments by Deputy Prime Minister Bershov will add to further speculation and doubts as to whether the project would eventually be completed. Despite the reported differences, each side has something to offer the project, with China offering the large market and Russia providing its previous experience and expertise in building large aircraft. With the ever-changing geopolitical situation, both countries' ability to resolve their differences related to the CR929 will have consequences for the future of their aviation manufacturing industries, for better or for worse. I definitely hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. This has been Flights in Asia, highlighting the news and updates from the aviation and travel scene in Asia Pacific. For more of the latest updates, you can check out the website at www.flightsinasia.com. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.